Hi and welcome to another Blender uh, modifiers video series or video yeah anyway um, so this time we are gonna do let's see volume to mesh so for this we need a volume and like the easiest way that I know how to create one is uh, creating a uh, creating a volume from a mesh so let's do that um, we're gonna keep it really simple but yeah all right Control C, like this is, we're gonna convert this into a volume. So go up here to add and select volume empty. Then go to the modifier for that volume and select mesh to volume. Then on the object field, select the cube, right? So now we have that little cube, uh, I mean, that little volume around the cube. Uh, then box amount we're gonna do like 150 but so long as you, it shows like that's the, all, all that really matters yeah we're, we'll, we'll do 200 but 100 or whatever it's set at to the beginning is fine then we're gonna add another modifier which is volume displacement but oh let's do this first go to cube and take it out of the screen or rendering so this is your volume created out of the mesh um, let's see, let's make this a little more interesting. We're going to add volume displacement and we're going to create new right here, texture, and we're going to do marble. So it looks pretty funky and cool. All right. And then just change the settings here, uh, to your liking. All right. So now we got our volume. All right. This is, this is the first thing we need to do before we can actually convert from volume to a mesh. And the reason why we would do that is because let's say we've, we've created a, a really nice mesh, right? Yeah, like the face for a character and we kind of want to make it look a little different, but we don't want to like create it ourselves. Uh, we just kind of want to, you know, ran, kind of randomize it, make it a little more unique. Because if we do it, like we're gonna, we might spend like two hours on it. Like this is a way to help ourselves with that. All right, so volume, go to Shift A, and we're gonna create an atmosphere. But we can use any of these uh, meshes. Uh, atmosphere G X. We're gonna move it like here. Tab edit mode I'm just gonna add some more subdivisions uh, but you don't have to um, it's just really up to you uh, and then we're gonna add a modifier to this so new and this is also this also will affect what shows up on our uh, volume or yeah uh, on our mesh from created from our volume here so then modifier for this and volume to mesh here we're gonna select the object and we're gonna go with volume. And so then here we are, we kind of created a block <laughs> um, from the volume, but we used the, the sphere. No, but this is cool, right? And so like we can um, do this for like faces, body parts. Like if you wanna, let's say you have an arm and you wanna create like this weird, just like random, kind of grouping to it you can take the original arm and the uh volume to mesh the new mesh and then like join it and then you have all this like mutated arm thing uh it, it's just it's just how you know it's it's one way to do things and um you just gotta keep practicing try to uh, change the settings until you get something that you like It's uh, definitely interesting. <laughs> oh, that is bulky as weird. All right. Yeah, so just uh, play around with that. Remember, create your uh, volume first from mesh. It can be like what you actually want the end product to be. And then uh, just use any random um, what's it called mesh and then use that to create your volume 
and I mean use that to create your mesh from your volume that you created previously but yeah uh, sorry for the wording confusing sounding things uh, but hopefully the process is clear enough uh, yeah good luck and I hope that helps thanks for listening